Welcome to day two, where we will gain a greater understanding of ideal relationships and where they come from. Deepak defines an ideal relationship as any relationship where there is a strong connection that can be trusted, brings peace, and finds healing after a disconnection. I like to picture the communication within any relationship as a dance. One person moves a step forward and the other steps back in your rhythm. Unless there is a misstep, and then both people are on the floor in a tangle of confusion. This could happen in any relationship, your friend, your spouse, your boss, and of course your children. I have learned over the years that the best option to get back in step is to ask the other person, what do you really want? If you allow them the quiet space to respond authentically. I have found that people will often say a variation of this concept. They just want to know that they are valued. I believe that three of the most important words anybody can say are not, I love you, but I hear you. Today, Deepak will give us his insights on how we can all connect more, be more truthful, bring peace to all of our relationships. We're going to listen to Deepak and then meditate together. If relationships are all about connecting, two questions come up. Why do I connect? And why do I disconnect? As we follow our desires, we automatically become close to people who we feel comfortable connecting with, while avoiding people we do not feel comfortable connecting with. This is the social aspect of relationships. But all of us want more than social relationships. We want love, intimacy, sexual gratification, security, ego satisfaction, and personal contact. This is real heart-to-heart -heart connection. But heart-to-heart -heart connections can make us feel vulnerable. They expose us to someone else's judgments about us. The ideal relationship feels extremely difficult because even with great love and caring, ego differences and conflicts arise in every relationship. As tension and strain develop, there is a disconnect instead of a connection. There is a spiritual answer to this situation, which is to base all relationships on how you relate to yourself. Everything you want in any relationship begins inside, with how much love, understanding and forgiveness you give yourself. You cannot receive what you cannot give. When we try to create relationships from the outside in, we put the burden on external approval, success, money and getting what we want. We look for another person who fits our long list of wants when the reality is that everything is happening from the inside out. The scenery out there reflects the situation in here. This is what the world's wisdom traditions teach and it's the reason our meditation practice is the foundation for relationships. Working from the outside in will fall short of the ideal and leads to frustration, conflict, and lack of fulfillment in the end. If we try to base our relationships on our small ego self, we can easily feel like a victim when things get difficult. Too many people say, it must be me, it's my fault. This sounds like taking responsibility, but it is not. That is the inner voice of victimization. Your true self never speaks from the viewpoint of low self-worth, judgment and blame. Strong ego boundaries and good coping skills 
are not your true self. What we achieve in our meditation practice is a baseline sense of self that is strong and dynamic. This true self exists in everyone at the level of awareness we experience in meditation. As the true self becomes real for you, a new identity is being created, which is how you learn to make heart-to-heart -heart connections without fear of vulnerability. As we prepare to meditate together, let's take a moment to consider our centering thought. My relationships begin within through love and caring for myself. My relationships begin within through love and caring for myself. Now let's prepare for our meditation. Make yourself comfortable and close your eyes. Begin to be aware of your breath and just breathe slowly and deeply. With each breath, allow yourself to become more deeply relaxed. Now, gently introduce the mantra, Karuna Ham. Karuna Ham. This mantra means, my essential nature is pure compassion. You feel and recognize that your heart is at one with the heart of everyone and everything in creation. Repeat it silently to yourself. Karuna Ham. Karuna Ham. Karuna Ham. With each repetition, feel your body, mind and spirit open and receive just a little more. Whenever you find yourself distracted by thoughts, noises or physical sensations, Simply return your attention to silently repeating the mantra. Karuna Ham. Karuna Ham. Karuna Ham. Please continue with your meditation. I'll mind the time, and when it's time to end, you'll hear me ring a soft bell. Karuna Ham. Karuna Ham Karuna Ham
It's time to release the mantra. Continue to sit restfully, inhaling and exhaling slowly. When you feel ready, you can open your eyes. As you continue with your day, contemplate the centering thought. My relationships begin within, through love and caring for myself. My relationships begin within, through love and caring for myself. Namaste.